I'm Ricky Gervais on XFM 104.9. There he is indeed, with him, Steve Merchant. And, uh, Carl Pilkington, of course. Say hello, Carl. Alright. Yeah. Do you believe in, uh, I think Where lycanthropy? Else? Is it, is it not called? What's that, sorry? Lycanthropy. What's lycanthropy? Isn't that wa werewolfism? Really? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do you believe in that, Carl? They've, they've, they've found stuff, haven't they? They've found kids walking about who are all airy. Cause, right. uh, <coughs> cause they've, they've sort of grew up with, uh, wolves and that. Yeah. So no. <laughs> you see, two things there. Um, right, uh, you cannot take on acquired uh, characteristics genetically. So, if you grew up with wolves, it wouldn't suddenly make you hairy. Uh, there's two. been pictures, there's been pictures, there's been stories on it, and I reckon most people have, or a lot of people have seen the stories, it's a popular you thing. Mean, you mean the kids that are born hairy? No, no, there's kids who have been born hairy, right? Yeah, that's it. No, but listen, and they walk around on all fours, <laughs> and they drink milk from a saucer. <laughs> Oh, Steve, this is no, too No, remember, easy. listen, remember that time with the maggot and the head? Yeah. Um, getting out with bacon and you were, like, laughing, and then people called up and said, yeah, I've, I've seen that, I've read about that. Yeah, this but is the same you, thing have as you his... seen an XFM listener up close? Have you ever looked, They studied... drink milk from a saucer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've got to be kept on leads, people who listen to this show. There's, there's no point in me telling you about stuff. There is, it's comedy you see, gold. When you, when you were out of school, did you keep arguing with the teacher saying you're talking rubbish there? Teachers didn't teach us about werewolf boys and ghosts. <laughs> they taught us maths. God, right, tell the story about the man I'll cover. Right, in the same magazine as, uh, as the one with the, with the cat and the fire and that. Don't tell me that story again, it gives me the shit. Yeah, a cat that's <laughs> got a weird expression on his face yeah. is well, against it, God. Anyway, this isn't a scary story, this was just, uh, like you physics. Physics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it right. was going on about the, uh, nuclear bomb and uh, how powerful it is. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> they put, they put a manhole cover on top of one. <laughs> okay. Blew it up. Yeah. <laughs> Never saw the manhole cover again. <laughs> <laughs> Man alive, Carl. <laughs> Unexplained. What's that. going on there? Something weird is happening there. <laughs> oh. If anyone has ever seen that manhole cover, <laughs> yeah, uh, please yeah. get in touch. We'd love to know where it is. Oh, that's fantastic. What sort of experiment is that? I imagine all these scientists on multi billion pound research budgets, they're going, we test everything. What would you do to a man or cover? Don't know. That's like letting a couple of students. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have control yeah. of a nuclear Do you reckon song? it can send a traffic cone, cone yeah. into orbit? Go on then, put it on there. <laughs> I love that. I imagine that. What? Uh, what, of what value is that? <laughs> and what, so what we could do, we could let the, put the manhole cover on it and aim it and then blow the bomb up and it would, <laughs> it would, the manhole cover would have someone's eye out! <laughs> fire it! See if you can fire manhole covers <laughs> off the nuclear bomb, whatever. Tie bangers to a bomb, see if it's louder. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>